गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन नाइन टू रेडियो खानचे हम सबका रेडियो माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर लाडली रानी University Department of Botany, Ranchi University, Ranchi is here again to discuss a very important and interesting topic of recombinant DNA technology, the restriction endonuclease. Now, how restriction endonuclease works? Restriction endonuclease protects the cells. from the foreign dna they restrict the function of the infecting dna restriction endonuclease recognizes a specific sequence of nucleotide and generally produces two types of double stranded cut in the dna one is the blunt end and the other is the sticky end now first of all we see the blunt end if we take a sequence c c c G G G five point three prime. Then it's complement on the complementary strand. It will be G G G C C C, and it is made to cut in between C and G. Then we have two specific fragments. One of C C C and the other is of G G G. And these type of this type of fragments are known as the blunt and fragments now these blunt and fragments can be joined to any other dna fragment with blunt ends this enzyme the enzyme which cuts the dna and produces blunt end is useful for certain types of dna cloning experiment the other is the sticky end how if you take a consider say a sequence g a a t t c and on the complementary strand you will have c t t a a g and the cut is at in between g and a then a fragment generated is a a t t g and on the complementary strand the fragment generated is c t t a a See. now these have the sticky ends dna fragments with complementary sticky ends can be combined to create new molecule which allows the creation and manipulation of dna sequence from different sources type 1 restriction endonuclease Type one restriction and endonuclease are complex endonuclease and have recognition sequence of fifteen base pairs. They cleave the DNA about hundred thousand base pairs away from five prime end of the sequence TCA located within within the recognition site. Example is E. coli K twelve. E. coli B etc. Type one restriction enzyme works with the help of many cofactors such as S. adenosyl methionine, hydrolyzed adenosine triphosphate, and magnesium ion. Type one restriction enzyme methylates the DNA sequence at the site of recognition. the type 1 restriction enzyme translocate the dna sequence now what happens now the type 1 restriction enzyme is made up of three subunits hsdr this subunit is required for restriction then hsdm this is necessary for adding methyl groups to host dna methyl transferase activity and hd hsds important for specificity of cut site recognition in addition to its methyl transferase activity now we are aware of the restriction 
methyl ration system or restriction modification system in the bacteria so on the basis of the three function these three functions of the subunit of restriction endonuclease one enzyme the system is also known as rms system or this is rm system now we come to restriction endonuclease type 2 the type 2 restriction enzymes are remarkably stable and in, induce cleavage in most cases within or outside their recognition sequence which are symmetrical means that the restriction uh, to uh, endonuclease type 2 always recognize and cleave the double stranded DNA at the sequence which are symmetrical sequence. The type 1 restriction enzyme like the type 1 restriction endonuclease it also works only with the help of single cofactor like magnesium ion. Now type 2 restriction endonuclease is iso the first was the first type of type 2 restriction endonuclease isolated was HIND2 H I N D HIND2 in 1970. Only type 2 restriction endonuclease are used for restriction mapping and gene cloning in, in view of their cleavage only at a specific site. Now this is a very important type of restriction endonuclease because it cleaves the DNA at a specific site and it is used for restriction mapping. Now cut, what are the different types of cuts that the restriction type 2 endonuclease can do? Type 2 restriction enzymes can generate Two, type, two different types of cuts depending on whether they cut both strands at the center of the recognition sequence. Then what will happen? It can generate both the blunt-ended uh, fragments and as well as the sticky-ended fragments. Now what are the subunits of restriction to type 2 endonuclease? The subgroups are defined using a letter suffix. Just say, see what is this? Type 2 B restriction enzymes, type 2 E restriction endonuclease, type 2 M restriction endonuclease and type 2 T restriction endonuclease. Now we come to the type 3 restriction endonuclease. What are these? What is the specificity? What are the characteristic features of type 3 restriction endonuclease? Type 3 restriction endonuclease. Type 3 restriction endonuclease are intermediate between type 1 and type 2 endonuclease. They cliff DNA in the immediate vicinity of their recognition site. Example are E. coli P1, E. coli P15, hint 3. They cut DNA up to 20 to 30 base pairs away from the recognition site. These enzymes contain more than one subunit and they require ATP and cofactor magnesium for their activity and require adomet and ATP cofactor for their role in DNA methylation and restriction. Now we come to the what are the basic uh, properties of the restriction enzyme which we have studied. Properties, what is the nature of enzyme? Type 1 restriction endonuclease. It shows endonuclease and methylase activity. Type 2 Restriction endonuclease, separate endonuclease and methylation activity. Type 3 restriction endonuclease, it shows endonuclease and methylase activity. Now, what is the structure? Prop number, two point, uh, number 2 point of, point of importance in the properties, the protein structure. Now, type 1 restriction endonuclease, it is made up of 3 different subunits. 
type 2 restriction endonuclease is made up of two identical subunits and type 3 is made up of two different subunits. Now what is the requirement of restriction? Type 1 restriction endonuclease requires ATP magnesium ion and S-adenosyl methionine for its restriction function. Type 2 restriction endonuclease requires only magnesium ion and type 3 requires ATP and magnesium ion both. Now what is the specific cleavage type of the different types of endonuclease? The cleavage site of type 1 restriction endonuclease is random and up to 1000 base pair away from the restriction site. Then of the restriction endonuclease type 2, the site is 80 or near the recognition site. And type 3, 24 to 26 base pairs, 3 prime to the, uh, to the restriction site. Now, what are the example? Example of restriction endonuclease 1 is eco B, then restriction enzyme 2 eco R1 and of the endonuclease type 3 is eco P1. Apart from the three important types of restriction endonuclease, there are some other type of endo restriction endonuclease. These are the type 4 restriction endonuclease, then we have some hypothetical restriction endonuclease and the home, homing endonuclease. Now what are the restriction endonuclease type 4? These includes those restriction endonuclease that cleaves, cleaves only the methylated DNA as their substrate and show only weak specificity such as MCRA, MCRBC and MRR system in E. coli. These restriction endonuclease cleavers, cleaves only modified DNA including the methylated, hydroxymethylated and guanosyl hydroxymethylated cells. Their recognition sequence have usually not been defined except for E. coli, KMCRBC. Cleavage takes place about 30 base pair away from the recognition cell. Then we come to some hypothetical restriction endonuclease. According to the renowned work of Robert J. and Robertus, Robertus et al., hypothetical restriction endonuclease and DNA methylase can often be found when specific sequence in plasmids or bacterial DNAs are found to be methylated and the homing endo then we come to the homing endonuclease. Homing endonuclease are nothing but the collection of endonuclease which includes encode which is encoded either in the free standing genes within the introns or the conserved sequences as fusion within host proteins or as a self splicing entrance. Now what is the work? They, the homing endonuclease catalyze the hydrolysis of genomic DNA within the cells that, that synthesize them but do so at a very few or even at single location. Now, homing endonuclease has been classified into four families according to their conserved sequence motifs. They are number one, LAG, LI, DADG. Number two is GIY, YIG. Number third is M N H system. And number four is His cyst box family. Now, naming or the nomenclature of the restriction endonuclease. As we know that there are three main groups of restriction endonuclease called type 1, type 2 and type 3 
Now, since 1973, restriction endonuclease and DNA methyl transferase have been named based on the original suggestions by Smith and Nathan. Now, what uh, Smith and Nathan proposed, they proposed that the restriction endonuclease name should begin with three letters. Now, what are these three letters? The first, the let, first letter was the genus name genus name from which the enzyme was isolated. The second letter was the specific epithet or the species name and the third was taken from the strain or the extra, the extra letter or the number show, shown to be added to the, in the specific effect and the genus was to indicate individual strains or the stereotypes. Now what was then? The last number which is written was for the sequence in which it was isolated from a particular bacteria. Means if we take, we will ex we will be explaining it through the example. We we take an enzyme E. coli E. co R1. Now E. co R1 now we have to specify how the nomenclature was done. There is a bacteria E. coli strain E. coli R113 is the bacterial strain from which the restriction endonuclease was iso is isolated. Now the well name, name of the restriction enzyme, how we will be naming it? We will be naming that. The first is the generic name. First letter, the E. coli is E. We have taken the E. Then the second comes the specific epithet. That is the second and third letter C. O. Now the R is the individual strains or the stereotype and the I or the 1 is the sequence in, in which it is isolated. Means this enzyme was first isolated from the E. coli. E. coli strain R113, the E. co R1 enzyme was the first restriction endonuclease to be isolated. We will take one another example like hint 3. This was one of the four enzymes isolated from Hemophilus influenza stereotype D. The first three letters of the name was was Akronov. Restriction endonuclease. Now they have the restriction endonuclease have many application in the re recombinant DNA technology. They are used in gene cloning and protein expression experiments. Restriction enzymes are used in biotechnology to cut DNA into smaller units in order to study fragment length differences among the individual. That is the restriction fragment length polymorphism RFLP. Each of the methods of restriction fragment length polymorphism depends upon the use of agarose gel electrophoresis for the separation of DNA fragments. The other uses are it provides different ways of manipulating DNA such as the creation of recombinant DNA which has endless application allows for the large-scale production of human insulin for diabetes using E. coli as well as the hepatitis B and HPV vaccine. Now cloning the DNA molecules and studying the nucleotides. Thank you and hope you will be benefited from this lecture.